2016 is off to a busy start with headline-grabbing exchange mergers and acquisitions, an ongoing focus on regulation, and the continued search for growth. John Lothian News sat down with key exchange executives to get their thoughts on the changing landscape and what's on their priority list for the rest of the year. We started to pivot the company to get deeper into the data space. So we acquired Interactive Data Corporation uh, to add on to our super derivatives acquisition, really articulate a vision on how uh, exchanges and data could come together and into one holistic uh, business that could serve customers. 2016, we announced a number of uh, other small acquisitions and some deals. We're buying some businesses from Standard & Poor's uh, uh, that are analytic businesses uh, that complement what we do. And we also announced that we've been working with BlackRock to um, take a number of their exchange traded funds and move them onto indices that we're creating with them. We bought a few analytic and, and uh, other tools that uh, are gonna help us with a deal that we're doing with Alliance Bernstein to give them uh, data for settlement prices so that they can make sure that uh, that when they uh, are buying bonds that they're getting the best execution. Clearing um, increasingly is becoming regulated, so uh, we and, and our peers are investing more money in clearing. We need more people, we need more processes and systems that are auditable. Part of that just comes with uh, dealing with regulators, but part of it comes with, with actually responding to the fact that, the, that these are systemically important and they need to have the proper checks and balances in them. As you start to invest in clearing and all those processes, we're also seeing people working on the risk models, uh, more back testing, more um, uh, analysis that, uh, that we're doing of, of, of past events and trying to figure out how to, um, to minimize the risk in a clearinghouse, but also optimize for our customers the amount of capital they have to put up. We're involved in blockchain internally. We have a lot of work streams going on ourselves. We're looking at it. Um, it's a challenge. It's new and, and uh, um, there are real limitations to it, many of which uh, a lot of people are working on solving. It's starting to create a context for better standards. So whether those standards are applied to actually a blockchain or simply to other forms of sharing a database technology uh, is yet to be seen. While uh, it may be kind of have cobbled together over many years, the reality is there's a pretty broad based set of communication and standards that are there. Whether blockchain can rise to the level that it can, can obliviate all of that because it's better, faster, cheaper, we will yet to be seen, but I think there will be a spillover benefit uh, of just getting better standards and more common interface regardless of whether it goes on to the public ledger. We're doing a lot um, on secure networking because of cybersecurity issues. What we're doing in that is trying to make a really robust, uh, secure network for, the, for both the stock exchange, but also all of the kind of data and infrastructure that ICE has to be placed on that so that we can securely communicate with customers compared to where we are today versus five years ago is like night and day. And I think that's true for many of our peers as well. As we sit here today, there's a lot of risk in the world. Oil prices are moving around. Central banks are doing a lot of policy, which is changing interest rate behavior. It's changing foreign exchange um, behavior. And so what we see is a lot of risk management being consumed right now. We, had, we started the year with really strong volumes in trading and clearing, and that really is, is the manifestation of the fact that our customers are trying to manage risk. So. We've got an election coming up. We got a Brexit vote in Europe. Um, you know, as you kind of look forward at our calendar, just there's a lot of man-made volatility that is built into that calendar that I think is going to keep customers busy in managing risk for 2016.